everything they wanted and, and he's going to have the ability to uh, construct a, a nice property uh, and that's nice structures on the property uh, without um, having to uh, work around easements as you would have had to do previously. So, um, you know, if there are any questions, please let me know. I know the Mr. Willens and his, uh, who is the contract purchaser, uh, and I think the current property owners of the attorney are here. I would just ask that uh, if we do get an approval, because this is all done, um, uh, we have some, some minor changes this week uh, based on reviewing the club document that we approve it subject to final approval by the current owner no later than Tuesday of next week, which would be uh, the 16th, and that's uh, all right with, you know, with the party to give them enough time to uh, have that review and be executed. Uh, right now, uh, the agreement, because it was kind of being worked out, like I said, this week, uh, we don't have a, a signed agreement from the current owner, but I know that uh, they'll, I'm sure they'll sign off on it. There have not been significant changes. I want to compliment you for the amount of time where he put in this. Right. Almost as much as Greg put in the Pearl <laughs> Gas. <laughs> this, this has been a long standing issue that's going to result in significant improvement for a plus of slide. Um, comments, questions? Tom, anything on that? Uh, Jerry, you're coming back with the uh, uh, respect of parties and these many separate these many agreements. This is something more like a subtle agreement. So, um, as part of the legals are in the back, right? The, there's a ratification of town rights and easements under partial release modification of easement, which is, um, which is, yeah, the, the actual easement agreement. So, yeah. essentially, we're agreeing to, yeah. once everything has been accomplished, the construction of the new water line, uh, we will then, uh, after that is concluded, file this, and that will create the property. Yeah. So, you have a comment? <laughs> if not, is there a motion? Uh, motion to approve the agreement to modify town easements as presented by the town attorney. Second. Commissioner Green? Yes. Commissioner Canfield? Yes. Commissioner Orthwine? Yes. Vice Mayor Stanley? Yes. Mayor Morgan? Yes. Well, thank you. Uh, let's move on then to uh, website development. Proposed. Uh, yes, this is a, a proposal from Ashton Whitman and State an Amendment to our existing contract with them uh, for them to provide public outreach and website development services uh, during the construction uh, period of our CIP project in April. Uh, the amount was over the amount that I confirmed with your uh, approval and uh, that amounts $21,894. Uh, and just, just remember that that's spread out over the period. At a minimum of 18 months, we hope it's only 18 months. So, uh, so we're asking for you to And this involves the, the, the construction CFP website that we put in, uh, modify on a weekly basis right. to, to show the work to be done, work to be done. Now. Properties to uh, be impacted that sort of thing. Right. So and also a uh, telephone hotline that people can call. That's included. Yeah. Okay, let me check. Uh, uh, I'll have to move. B. Authorized Greg Dunham to approve the, uh, the sum of 21,884. Sorry. Sorry. We're not. Commissioner Green. Yes. Commissioner Canfield. Yes. Commissioner Orthwine. Yes. Vice Mayor Stanley. Yes. Mayor Morgan. Yes. Uh, the IT contract. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll take that. Okay. Calvin, our our IT current IT Calvin Giordano uh, are no longer doing small municipalities. They have outgrown themselves, or they've grown, and so they're cutting off all small municipalities, which made us have to go out to bid or look for somebody. We went through two or three, as you can see, and we wanted to stay with a smaller company because they're more 24-7 for us. You can see the price differences there. Um, I think Chief has worked with Node Zero or knows the owners are there. They've been very cooperative on the phone, so that's why we're recommending to go with Node Zero. And our contract with Calvin Giordano is up in May, May 11th, so we have to 
get the transition going. Very good. Is there a motion? Uh, motion to approve the uh, new IT contract at 1275 a month. Uh, Second. Right. Commissioner Green? Yes. Commissioner Canfield? Yes. Commissioner Orthline? Yes. Vice Mayor Stanley? Yes. Mayor Morgan? Yes. Um, we have uh, reappointment of uh, Robert Dockerty as our regular ARPD member uh, for another term. Is there a I move to approve Bob Dockerty as regular ARPD member for the new term. Second. Next. Commissioner Green? Yes. Commissioner Canfield? Yes. Commissioner Orthline? Vice Mayor Stanley? Yes. Mayor Morgan? Yes. Uh, we have to appoint a new ARPD alternate now. Um, because uh, uh, Matthew Jones, um, uh, personal reasons. Uh, who is next on the list? Katie Orthwine. Katie Orthwine. Um, I think we'll have Ms. Orthwine. Um, recuse. I, I, yes, I will. I'm <laughs> recused. <laughs> Um, we have a, uh, a resume on, on, on this work line. It's pretty impressive. Chance to look at it. She's uh, kind of done pretty well with herself at MIT while she was uh, uh, and, and quite a bit of uh, uh, work experience as well. It appears to me that she would bring uh, insight to the ARPB and has the advantage of being a young, younger person from the media brought into our town government. Um, so I think you know, we should seriously consider appointing this one. Motion to approve Ms. Orthline to the uh, alternate AFP. Second. Red. Commissioner Green? Yes. Commissioner Canfield? Yes. Vice Mayor Stanley? Yes. Mayor Morgan? Yes. Congratulations. Okay, let's uh, move on to the resolution 24 2. But before we do, uh, Mr. Nazar, could you whoever is going to speak to the topic, uh, explain the purpose of the resolution and what we'll do with the uh, Absolutely, Mayor. So, in our town, excuse me, in our town code, we are allowed to change fees by resolution. That is something that we have uh, not done super regularly. Last time we did it was in response to a new ordinance that provided penalties for uh, construction tasks, right? So there were time limitations for uh, construction. If you exceeded that, uh, there was a fee associated with that uh, to continue to reopen that. So that's something that we did within the last few years, but it's not something that we do regularly. So just by way of example, our damage bond was, was $5,000 and it had been $5,000 for a long time. Uh, this is proposing a change to the damage bond from $5,000 to $10,000 for certain construction projects. And that reflects the, uh, the cost of damage that we have seen recently during construction projects in town. So that is something that is completely refundable. To, to, the town holds sort of as a security in the event there are any issues. We had some damage to town property that exceeded $5,000, it was under $10,000, uh, as well as I believe some water line damage as well exceeded $5,000, under $10,000. So that's something that we're just kind of updating. Consistent with what we talked about last month, we are modifying the uh, level two site plan from uh, a flat $1,000 fee to a maximum of $1,000, minimum of $250 which is 10% of construction value. Uh, we uh, looked at the level one uh, fees and, and how to perhaps modify that or change it. Uh, we are advising through this no change and it will stay at zero dollars. <laughs> so again, really the only changes to level two applications to reflect the changes to the artificial turf. And then while we were uh, in the um, adjusting some fees, we looked at and took the opportunity to increase the damage problem. Comments? Questions? We discussed this briefly last yeah. time. Um, and I think this is consistent with, uh, with our conversation for last week. Damage bond and then the first issue of the range. The yeah. 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 I would comment to the town commission that uh, 
if I had $5,000 of the uh, return damage bonds uh, to some contractors that uh, still have to be positive. Very good. Uh, Renee, we would uh, read resolution 24-2. A resolution of the Town Commission of the Town of Gulfstream, Palm Beach County, Florida, revising the Town of Gulfstream fee schedule for the processing and review of applications for the building permits, providing an effective date of today, April 12, 2024. Uh, second. Commissioner Green. Yes. Commissioner Canfield. Yes. Commissioner Earthline. Yes. Vice Mayor Stanley. Yes. Mayor Morgan. Yes. Comments by the commissioners. Thank you all for coming. I'm not sure who's been here.